Well, good morning. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Another wonderful day, another wonderful great opportunity to hear the Word of God. For the Word of God is full of life, full of power. And therefore, as we continue to hear His Word, the Bible says that the entrance of His Word gives us light. In other words, we are enlightened in our spiritual uh, or in our spirit to be able to know what we need to do spiritually. This morning, I'd like to encourage you from the book of Romans chapter number 8 and verses 11. Romans chapter 8 and verses 11. And it says this, But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. So here Paul is telling us that the very same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, that is the spirit that was from God, that's why it says, but if the spirit of him, the spirit of him, the spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, if that very same spirit dwells in you, then he who raised Christ from the dead, which means the very same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead dwells in you, then that very same spirit will give life to your mortal body because of his spirit who dwells in you. Therefore, we understand that the Holy Spirit who is living inside of us after receiving Jesus as your Savior, then the Spirit of God comes to dwell inside of you. And when the Spirit of God dwells inside of you, there is a work that is working in you. And one of the works that is working in you, Paul is telling us here, that he gives life to your body. You know, the Bible says that though the outward man perishes, the inward man is being renewed day by day. Uh, your body changes as a result of just life. And as a result of that, your body is sometimes is weakened. But the Bible said that the Spirit of God will quicken or will give life to your flesh, will give life to your body, which means there is life inside of you that needs to flow from inside of you to outward of you and this is by the spirit of the living God and therefore you need to know and you need to understand that one of the reasons why the spirit of God is in you or one of the purposes why the spirit of God is inside of you is to give life to your flesh in other words you need to have the life of God flowing through your flesh because of the spirit of God that is inside of you and therefore, this life that has been given to you by the Spirit of God, it is the power of God. That's why the Bible said that there's an exceeding greatness of His power towards us who believe. What is this exceeding greatness of His power? It is the very same power that raised Christ from the dead. In other words, your body is being given life because of the power of God, which is the Spirit of God that is dwelling inside of you. And therefore, today I'd like to encourage you, you fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Acknowledge the Holy Spirit that is at work inside of you because the Holy Spirit is releasing the life of God to your flesh so that you can have the life of God flowing in and through you. And therefore, we as believers, we're not just trying to get along by. No, we have been destined and we have been equipped to be able to live the God kind of life. Not just spiritually, but even in a physical realm. Because the Spirit of God is the one who is empowering us to do so. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Isn't it great to know that we have the life of God flowing inside of us through to our flesh so that we can have the life of God. What is the life of God? The life of God is full of health. What is the life of God? The life of God is full of peace. What is the life of God? The life of God is full of joy and the Holy Ghost is full of it and is releasing it to your flesh so that you can experience it physically as much as it is in your spirit. Glory be to Jesus. So today I'd like to encourage you. Understand that there is life inside of you. Tap into that life through fellowship with the Holy Ghost. As you are fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit, the very same Spirit that gave life to Christ is the very same Spirit that is giving life to your flesh. You've come alive because of the Spirit of the living God. And therefore you live as one who has life that is flowing in and through you as a result of the Spirit of God dwelling inside of you. So you stay blessed and have a wonderful day.